start, Todd, by uh, thanking you for chatting with us here at the Christian Beat. And we're going to talk all about your latest release um, and some other uh, exciting news that I'm sure you have for sharing with some of the tours that you've been on and everything else. So happy to talk through this. <laughs> absolutely. Thanks for having me. Ah, absolutely. So let's talk first about the journey, which released at this point, probably like a week or two ago. Um, yeah. Do you want to just talk through for me when you first had the idea for that project? Uh, so the journey was a project that I recorded about a year and a half ago. And so um, I tell, I've been telling people the real, real truth behind like why it took so long to come out. <laughs> um, um, it's, you know, God will give you the title for something because he knows what's about to happen in the future. And it's like, almost like a joke. It's like, <laughs> I'm like the journey why did I name it The Journey? Because I had to go on one before I released the dog on music. And I couldn't release it because I wasn't in a place spiritually or mentally to release it to the people. Like coming out of the pandemic was probably the hardest time of my life to have to try to focus and get my relationship in a place where, and when I say my relationship, my relationship with God in a place where I was back to normal and back stable. And so um, it took a while because I was like, if I release this now, I don't have the right spirit to to guide it and to push it and to speak truth. And so, um, yeah, the joke's on me. It's called The Journey because I had to go on a journey. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I, and it's, uh, I'm curious how that then also is portrayed in the artwork because there's so much in that in that visual that pairs with the music so i'm just curious if you want to talk a little bit about how some of that pulled together for you too Ab absolutely so i asked <laughs> i asked the uh, digital artwork <clears throat> um extraordinaire her name is jay lynn stimley i asked her i said i want you to create a cover that speaks about what is going on in my head trying to make it through this journey and I said, I want the good, the bad, the ugly. I want it all in one picture. And so she says, I got you. So the cover is a picture of my head splitting down the middle with the good coming out of it, the bad, the travel, the, the, my marriage, my, my kids, my, the, just everything that is good, bad, or indifferent is on this cover because all of it is a part of the journey um, that makes me who I am and 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 giving me the ability to articulate it in song. Absolutely. So then talk to me a little bit. You mentioned you weren't in the the space, the right space to release this, you know, a year and a half yeah. ago. So when did you know that you were in the right space and that this was the time for it? Like how did that how how were you clear that it, you were now okay to release the music? I think when when I finally said, God, I I I can't fix me. <laughs> like I like at this point, I've tried everything. I've tried counseling. I've tried it all. I just need to lay my life back down at your feet. And when I did that, like the light began to shine again, where he's saying, Now you're ready. Now you're okay because I was trying like to get myself back to the normal me where I'm like fasting, praying, reading, doing all the things that I used to do. I was trying to do it by myself. And I was like, I can't do it. Like I can't find the energy or strength to do it. The moment that I said, God, I've tried everything. Like here I am, like, what else do I do? And then I just laid down. And then he said, now, now you can speak for me because you've come to the end of your rope and I'll take it from here. Uh, <laughs> quite the story behind the, the project. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious then with that mindset, are there any tracks or specific lyrics that kind of, I don't want to say changed meaning necessarily for you, but deepened the meaning then as you went through that? Yeah, um, there's a song on there called I Lift My Eyes. And um there's a scripture in the Bible that says, um, you know, I'll look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. And so um, 
there was, like I say, I think about the king in the Bible, King Nebuchadnezzar, when he went through a season where he couldn't see clearly anymore. And God allowed him to go to the wilderness where he became crazy pretty much. He was just eating grass. But then God says, after eight years, you'll be returned to your senses. And um, I think that's kind of, you know, the season that I went through and that song, I lift my eyes, is that exact song and then we flow from that into something that says my my help comes from the lord um like that song just ministers flat out to me it's just telling me like look um the moment that you take your eyes off of everything around you and just look back to the father everything begins to clear up and then he begins to do the work and you don't have to try as hard um, so I know people want, wanted to hear me say the journey like they wanted to hear me give them some other explanation as to how this album came about. But this album came about because God took me on a journey, allowed me to go through a season of disobedience and then says, when you come back to me, I got something special for you. And so I think probably this album will mean more to me than any album I've done in the past. That's that's amazing. So, talk to me a little bit about the listener reaction and feedback you've gotten um, in the in since it's been out. I mean, you, you had had some pre-release tracks as well, but was there any reaction or you know uh, consistent theme that you were seeing that you were maybe I don't want to say not expecting, but um, that really stood out to you? Yeah. So, um, we did a listening party in uh, five cities in a row. And we started in Houston, Dallas, Atlanta, um, New, New York, and then Chicago, back to back. And um, each night, we, we saw a unique presence of God hit the room where everybody began to weep, especially on the song I just talked about, My Help. Mm -hmm. Because I think, like, you realize that it's very, very possible that God took me through what he took me through because so many other people coming out of a pandemic went through the same thing and that I would need to be able to relate to, to everybody saying like, I'm not the same as I used to be. Like something changed in me. Um, being stuck in the house with my family almost broke us, you know, like, and so um, the, the, but the, the, the common theme is a heavy, heavy presence of God is, is I believe resting on the record. Um, I, I believe that some type of strength or power has returned to my life going through this storm. And so um, I'm so anyway, I, I'm just excited about it. Yeah, I, I feel like this is possibly one of my most powerful offerings yet. And that's kind of what I'm getting from people online. That's that's amazing. So you want to talk also a little bit about the tour that you just wrapped up on recently and just all what that experience was like in those nights. <laughs> well, I was on the road with two uh, like unbelievably powerful women and I'm I'm the lone ranger as far as men on the tour and um CC Winans um and Jen Johnson. Um these are two powerful women of God but I told Cece that this tour was like rehabilitation for me. So I kind of, you know, the same thing that I'm sharing with you, I shared it with Cece, how I went through a season where I just, and Cece just gave me some of just the best uh, information and encouragement that I could ever receive. She was just telling me things like, if you stay focused on God, like obedience, and she said that, um, there are tons of talented people, but not many obedient people. And she said, if you can manage to obey God, he'll take you higher than you ever imagined. And it just was just right on time. And then to, to top it off, you could see her life. Like you could see her life lined up with what she was teaching me, that it just refined me. It, it, and, and I mean, yeah, being on stage with those two giants, that that was that was amazing, but it was the off the stage being with Jen and being with CC and, and laughing with them and seeing their lives actually be lined up with what they sing about. It was, it was something I'll never forget. And I've taken from it and I'm, I'm using it in my future as well. 
That's so interesting because I, I feel like a lot of time we talk about the pouring out in those circumstances and not necessarily what you are also getting poured into from those yeah. as well. Well, that's yeah. that's fantastic. Um, I do know though that you're getting. Uh, I think I saw a note that you're getting ready to relaunch a production company. And again, so talking about that pouring out, then mm -hmm. so I relaunch is a little bit timing related to being able to have something to pour out in some extent. Um, but do you just want to talk a little bit about why that um, effort is important to you? Yeah. The um. So. I didn't really understand the fullness of the company when God gave it to me. Um, the pr production company where we, um, my team and myself provide music production for people all over the world. I didn't really understand the fullness of it. I thought it was just a business strategy. But um, what I realized is that people all over the world just have no clue where to go to 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 finish off their music or to... Um, to get an idea out of their head. And so um, there was a need there, but not only is there a need, there's a community. And so, so many creatives that are looking for musicians, like top tier musicians. And I just happen to be blessed enough to know them worldwide and know that many of them have recording setups at home. And so they're just waiting for the work. And so I was able to connect the work with the workers and and um and now it's just a perfect marriage and along with finding your community all over the world of creatives and worship leaders and bass players and whoever else so it's just it's just been um like a double-edged sword of goodness yeah absolutely that's that's such a interesting concept that you mentioned of like having the network and plugging them in and just mm -hmm. not that connection until you can make it basically. So that's yep. interesting. Um, well, I know we're getting close to time. So I'll just wrap with providing you the opportunity if you want to share a message to the listeners and those who may come in contact with your music and just kind of what you want um, in this season, what you want to, to inspire or get through with your music. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I want everybody to know and understand that all of us are going on a journey. Everybody has their own unique path. Um, and I don't want people to be confused as to believing that just because someone is in front, that they're not working on something themselves. We're all working on something, but God has a plan to bring you to the other side. And the other side is so beautiful. I'm, I'm speaking from experience. Somebody that came through the pandemic lost who he was, but now has found himself in Jesus. And so I just encourage anybody listening to me to just keep going because the other side is so beautiful and God is waiting for you on that other side um, to show you the best years of your life. Absolutely. Well, I just want to thank you again, Todd, for taking the time to chat. I've really uh, enjoyed getting to hear more of your heart and uh, story behind your, your music. So thank you so much, Jesse. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me for real. Absolutely. My pleasure.